Hello guys, my name is Weefies, and today we're after a long, 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 long time, we're gonna be doing a redstone video. It's been forever. So in this redstone video, we're gonna look at clocks, but not these ones, the redstone ones. And basically, if you don't know what a clock is, a clock is something that gives a calm, repeating redstone output like, like this, like you know, like it goes on and off and on and off. And I'm gonna be showing you seven different designs, two strange ones, two like. Um, uh, speedy ones that you can set the speed, and two good ones and the best clock ever, on my opinion. So we're gonna start with the ones you can set the speed. The speed. These are really odd clocks that I made up, but you know they work. This one's loud, but you know it still functions. Let's take. We have a redstone dust right here. This is basically the output, and you can see by increasing the repeater, make this slower and slower and then really fast. So it kind of depends, you can toggle it and turn it on and off with this lever. This one is the redstone torch clock. It's really small, but it has one fatal flaw. It can go slower, it can go slower, but it can't be this for too long or else the torch will burn out. This one is the weird clock. It's the first clock I ever learned. You need three redstone dust, three redstone torch. It's part of the strange designs. Um, I mean, yeah, it works. It's big though. Out of these two, I think this one's the best, and out of these two, I think this one is the best, and the other one, I mean, again, super strange mechanics, there's a item in here that goes back and forth, sending in signal every time, it's like a signal, then it powers the block, and then it puts up again, so this loses the signal, but then it comes back, because the hopper's going inwards, and this gets the signal, it's a cycle of, cycle of signals, it's pretty special. And I have one of the best clocks, this is the first clock I, I mean, this is the second clock I ever learned, it's, um, Compared to a clock, we can turn it on and off like this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cheap too. This is the observer clock. It's probably the, it's the smallest clock in Minecraft that I know of. Have an output right here, and this is the only way to toggle it really because you can't really turn it off, which makes it a bit bigger. But you know, it's still pretty good. And now the best clock in all of Minecraft, on my opinion, is the hopper clock. And the hopper clock is basically just three blocks, one, two, three, and you can turn it on and off like this. And um, this is really good. It's silent. It has a quick signal. And if you make it, if you add more hoppers, you can make it slower. So you can see this one flashes and this one flashes less. So I'm sorry for the short video, but I'm on, you know, kind of fresh, like, tight schedule, okay? You understand. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Basically, clock wise, this is the best clock if you want, you know, everything good. This is the smallest clock if you want small. This is the cool clock if you want. If you don't have observers. And this is a cheap clock. This is a good one if you have enough quartz to make a repeater. This is a pretty good one if you don't wanna if you wanna make it fast and toggleable. And never use this one. There is literally no reason for you to waste your quartz on this garbage design. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really means a lot. But thank you for watching this video, guys. I'm going to be trying to upload Redstone more often. And check it out. My mouth grows bigger in my inventory. But, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.